today I'd like to tie for you a zonker fly. This fly is a fantastic fly for uh, especially for smallmouth bass. The hook I have in the vise is a Mustad 3366. It is a size 1. And I have the bar bent down. And the thread I'm going to use is black. 6 aught 70 denier. Start out attaching the thread at the eye. And I'm going to put down a base of thread to the end of the hook. You use rabbit strip, you use a zonker strip, and that's rabbit. And you use cross cut rabbit strip for the body. Then I'm going to stop the thread right about there. And I'm going to start, I'm going to use rusty zonker strip. I live in the I live in a region where there's a lot of mines and there's a lot of mine water going in so there's a lot of iron in the water and this rust is a good this is very close uh, to the color of the iron when the water comes out of the mines it uh, turns everything this color orange but uh, those small mouths, I kept them, and I cut them open, and uh, there was two rusty crayfish in their bellies. I'm going to attach it here, and they were pretty close to this color. So you size your tail, and my tail is about twice the length of the hook shank. And then separate the, the hair and tie it in right there, tie it in tight. Then take the rest of this and just fold it back and put some wraps right in front. Try not to pinch it down, but put him, get your thread rubbing. You want to get your thread rubbing right against the leather of the rabbit strip. You want it that close, and that'll help it uh, tighten it up on those few wraps you gave it. Okay, now at this point, we need to put a follow guard in because the tail is so long. You can see the, the tail, I put it up here. That's going to follow around the uh, barb of the hook pretty easily. So what I got is, I have Andy brand, and this is 20 pound test. This is hard monofilament. And I'm going to, I took a piece maybe four or five inches. When you have a 300 yard roll, it doesn't really matter how much you cut off, but you want to tie it in and tie it in on the side. I'm tying it in on the far side first. And you want to give it a few light wraps. and then you can start tightening tightening it down pick that up you want at least half of it to be along on the side of the shank like that and I'm just gonna trim that excess right there now I'm going to take the monofilament and I lifted the strip that's going to be trimmed eventually. And we're going to make a loop maybe half to three quarters the length of the hook shank. You want your loop to be off the back. And you want to tie that in. Once again, you want to get it right on the side of the hook shank. And take that back right back to the leather once again. And I'm going to trim that one. Let me get that hair out of the way. And there you can see it's on the sides of the shank. And what this is going to do is give you more space 
or more yeah more material to hold on to when we get to the next step and I'm going to cover that over good and now I'm going to take a piece of cross cut bunny and I'm going to change the color on this one a little bit the fly was using this that it had a white belly I'm going to use a uh, tan belly make it a little bit more natural looking Cut a taper on the hide itself and tie that in and tie that in of course with the hair side out tie it in right at that tail there and tie that down good and then bring your thread up to oh about one and a half the disc the length of the hook sh hook eye behind the hook and now I'm going to take uh, and here's what we got I'm going to take super glue and I'm going to coat that shank with super glue and I'm not going to be stingy on this one I'm going to put a little bit under the back there to put a little glue on the first couple of wraps that we tied the tail in with. We put a good amount on there and now we're going to take the brown cross cut and we're going to start wrapping it and just take it to the back. This, this is going the wrong direction but it'll come up, it'll work out. and stroke it towards the back as you're going there's a good tip there you can see it's standing straight up or towards the front even before you tie it on you could take your piece of rabbit strip and without before you glue it you could just freehand wrap it there a little bit to see which way the hair is going to go. And now, when I reach the thread, I'm going to tie that off right there. Give it a couple of wraps right there. And I'm going to cut it trim that excess just pull all that hair out of the way you can actually take a lighter and singe those hairs off it won't take much okay that'll be good now I'm going to take the hairs and I'm going to evenly divide them and put them off to the sides. I'm going to bring that strip across the back and I'm going to pull it pretty tight and I'm going to find the, see I'm pulling the hairs forward also, I'm going to find that piece of leather where it should be tied down at. And just a couple more. Here we go. Now I'm going to wrap it. Let me shorten my thread here. And now I'm going to trim this off. You want to leave just a little piece you don't want to cut it real close. You need to leave enough to secure the zonker strip down with. And then go ahead and secure that head.
and tidy it up. Tidy it up. I got a little bit on this side I got to get. There we go. There we go. I'm going to take my whip finisher and I'm going to whip finish. Pull that tight. And I'm going to take my super glue once again. I'm going to pull all this hair back so I don't get super glue on it. And I'm going to put a good amount of super glue on the head. And now we need to take the tail because you can see the tail. Let me pull it away and you can see the follow guard there now you pull the tail through up through the follow guard and that's the proper way to put a follow guard on you put the follow guard over the tail and then when you're finished with the fly pull it up through it and it will hold it up nice like there let me widen that out there for you holds it up nice and now you can fish this just like this or you can put eyes on it you can put eyes right on the front there and I'm gonna go ahead and put some eyes right on the front and I got 3d eyes I'm going to take my bodkin and get the eye on the bodkin and I'm just going to stick it right on the side and squeeze it in and you can see this eye has like a teardrop shape so when you have one one way make sure the second eye isn't the same way going towards the back in this case and I'm going to squeeze that one right on and now I'm going to put my loon UV cure on there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my fingers and I want to get a little bit of a control of those of that rabbit hair I'm going to coat the head of the fly and I'm going to let it seep in be behind the eyes to help secure it to the to help secure the eyes to the fly I got plenty more I need to get on the bottom. There we go. I got a good drop on that one. Just going to fill that in right on the bottom. And I'm going to cover the eyes with them with it also. And just be careful that you don't uh, go too far back with it. And there we go. And I'm going to let it upright and let it settle. And I'm going to take my UV light and my strip of holographic tape. And I hold around with the holographic tape and shine the UV light on there. 
and the whole graphic tape helps bounce the UV light around and helps it dry it more consistently. Okay, now they're on there permanently. But the Lone UV Cure leaves a sticky resin on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take head cement. i got Sally Hansen, hard as nails. And I'm going to put a slight coat of that on, on it. And that will ensure that it stays smooth. And here we have the rusty and tan zonker strip minnow and i hope that you learned something from this video hope that you would subscribe to my channel please leave comments questions suggestions and most of all i thank you very much for watching my video